God damn. <laughs> Anthony Joshua brutally knocks out Francis and Ganu. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I saw this coming. I knew it was gonna happen. I was telling Greg Hackett. So like, yo, Joshua was gonna knock him the fuck out. Simply because styles make fights. And fans gotta gotta understand that just because you can give another guy who's perceived to be better than Joshua a tough fight, don't mean you'll give Joshua a tough fight. All the reasons why he gave Fury a tough fight don't work against Joshua. And Ganu's a strong, sturdy guy. Joshua's a strong, sturdy guy who who is a, a bit more agile with boxing skill. And so a, a lot of the things that Nganu was able to do, it just wasn't working. And Joshua didn't even, get, <laughs> even give it a chance to work. Um, I, I definitely like Joshua's demeanor in this fight. Because after the knockout, he wasn't even he wasn't even like hype or satisfied. He looked like this is what I do. Like this is nothing. He, he doesn't belong here with me. That that was the attitude he had. Like there's no reason to celebrate. Like I expected to do this. And that's a very dangerous Anthony Joshua. One of the biggest takeaways is him and why Wilder. Why it seemed like Wilder has gotten more at peace because of what joshua is going through with like the scrutiny and, and the criticism he is more fiery now as far as like the, the demeanor not where he's yelling or screaming but just he, he's always just mad he's not that cool calm collective joshua like you know the pr joshua that always said the right thing and this is the kind of joshua that i love to see I'm definitely excited to see him in there with the winner of Usyk versus uh, Fury, even though I don't want to see him face Usyk again. I just want to see him face Fury. Fury and Wilder and then call it quits. Those are the fights I've always wanted. Those are the fights that I need next. YSM Sports Media, we out.